Hey guys, welcome to Evidential Tech. My name is Evidence. In this video, I'm going to show you what I consider to be the top five note taking apps. So let's start with Lecture Notes. Lecture Notes is my own personal favorite, and that's the one I use to take notes in class. And it is my favorite because you have full, full manual control over everything. So from this page, you can add, you can choose to add a notebook or you can choose to add a new folder. So let's say, and this is the photo I've added for fall 2017. When I open this folder, I can choose to add even more folders under it, or I can choose to add a notebook. And this is a folder that I added. And under that folder, I have different things. So from here, you can choose to add a folder or add a new notebook. Oh, and let's say I open this one that says um, next chapter, just for example. You can see um, what the interface looks like. So these things on top, on top here, you have full manual control. You can choose what you add or remove from top here, and you can choose to add this um, thing here or not. And the way you do that is you can go here and you can choose different things. So you can import PDF, import image, export to PDF, export only one page to PDF, or export to Evernote and other options. You can also export to OneNote or you can index the page. And let, if you go to settings, this is where you actually have full manual control over everything. You can you have so many different choices, so many different options. It's like you can't go wrong with this app. This app is what I've considered to be one of the best. I've tried many note taking apps and this one that gives me full control over over everything it's one of the best and you can go to extensions so you'll be able to record your lecture notes um, while you write you can record audio you can um record your professor or anything like that so this is for extensions and if you go to backup and restore you can after manually setting everything you can back up your settings and save it and then when you go to a different tablet, you can restore your settings. And I've done this many times before because I have two tablets and I use this one to um, do all my manual settings, back it up. And then when I go to a different tablet, I just import it. It saves you a lot of time. And let's say you click on this, you have different options. You have different options here and this so and then you can manually choose every single thing this no this is not taking apps really good the only thing is that it saves the files or the notes on directly on the device so if you want to get your note online or if you want to take it to a different tablet you have to export it manually which is fine it's very easy just hold on to the um, note and you can say export to pdf view notebook pdf export to different things and let's say in this case i want to share um share notebook P pdf you have different options of places you can share it to and you can save it to google drive on other places so this is really good next up which is almost as good as lecture notes is one note lecture note is only available on android devices but one note is available on windows android and io um ios you know apple products you have um, one note available on it on one note you can choose to add a notebook and under each notebook you can add a page you can add a section so let's say i go to evidences notes then you can add each section and then you can add each page to reach so if i go to something like graduate research i have a section that says thesis and i have a section that says outline and once you do that on android this is what these are all the options you get the only thing about the android version of OneNote is that you cannot insert pdf if you want to insert pdf you have to go to the windows version and insert your pdf sync it and then come back to android and for you to edit the pdf in one note so that's a bad thing about um, one note and that's the only reason why i'm not using it for school it's very good but for the fact that you can't insert pdf 
is the reason why I'm not using it for school because um, I have a lot of PDF to insert and it's a lot of trouble having to go to Windows and come back Windows and come back um, to this. So it's not very convenient. And if you are doing text, you, can, you have these are the options you have. So that's basically it for OneNote. It's very good for note taking. And next up on my list is Google Keep. Google Keep is good for you to just jot something down on the go, like really quick. And if you, you can, from here, you can take notes. You can um, do. You can add pictures, voice recording, and take notes and stuff. So you can quickly um, type in your notes here, or and things like I believe there's no option for you to write actually write on it let me see here so you can yeah yes you can you can add drawing recording check boxes image take a photo and let's add drawing and that's uh basically it. and then you go back here and then it inserts the drawing automatically and then with and with google keep is you can add different levels you can collaborate with somebody and you can also change the color of your notebook. So when you say labels, you can um, choose a label that says test or you can create a new label. And it says create high. And you can choose as many labels as you want. And it helps you to keep your notes organized. So when you go over to this side, you can choose each, uh, you can choose, um, each label to help you keep your notes organized. So it's very good, it's part of um, Google products. And next up on my list is notebook. On the notebook, you can cre create a different note and it comes with this pretty cover on it. And if I go to, let's say, my notebook, then you can choose to add um, vocal and um, voice recording, pictures, check boxes, type in, or you can attach document and stuff like that and let's say i decide to add um writing you can type in what you want you can add a title and if, if i go back to here and click on this and click on this this will allow me to um draw on it so type in drawing so yeah and then it inserts it again And then last but not least is Evernote. So with Evernote is the same story. With Evernote, you have different subscription levels on it. So you can you can decide to add um, notebooks to it. You can you click here to add a notebook. And then um, you click here to add notes to the notebooks. So you can add audio, attachments, camera, reminder, handwriting, text notes. Let's say I do handwriting. It will bring me to something that looks like this, and this is where I write on stuff. And when I'm done, I can just click back. If I want to add more pages, I can click this to add a second page to it, and click this to go back up. And I can just go back here, and it again inserts the writing on on here, and I, I can then do text. So I can um, do text too. So let me see here. Edit notes. I can type in whatever I want on it. And I click OK. So that's basically it. As like if one of the differences between all this lecture all this notes app is when you go to Evernote or Notebook or Google Keep, when you try to um use something like a stylus to write something down, it gives you a different page. It gives you a different page where um, you do your writing and then bring it back to the handwriting. So, so it gives you this, you know, where you type, where you write your stuff and then it inserts it into the document and then you can type also on the document. And the same story goes for, the same story goes for Notebook, if you go to notebook, you can go here and of course you can type. But let's say you want to add handwriting. 
you have to go to a different page do your handwriting and then come back here i mean that's a little inconvenient in my opinion but if you go to something like one note you can write directly on the document the document that you are using to type in you cannot directly on it and if you want to type just click on here and start typing you don't have to like go back and forth and then the same thing with lecture notes with lecture notes you can write directly on the notebook and type directly on the notebook too so guys that's it for my review of what i consider to be the top five note taking apps if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this one in the in the meantime i will see you on the next video bye